my god. Oh my god. What the heck? Wow. What? What? I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm lost for words. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that thing? That's so cute. Uh, it's uh 8:30 in the morning. I've been awake for an hour. Which is about. This has already been an incredible day. Don't get me wrong. I can't wait to go back to sleep as soon as I'm done making this video. But we had a brand new Pokemon Presents. And I honestly, I didn't have my expectations that high. And the first half of it were my ex expectations pretty much being met. But oh boy, if it didn't end with a massive bang. Scarlet and Violet, the Maka I reacted to this live on Twitch, and I want to give a huge thank you to the Pokemon company themselves who sent over an insane massive present for me to open before the stream. So we were going in with a giant head of Pokemon love and steam. Easily the coolest thing they sent was this replica heel ball, which is like super heavy, and you can press the button. Oh my god! There's like a wall Pikachu. Dude, this is so sick! This video is sponsored by Sakrako. Sakrako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box full of 19 traditional, authentic, and artisan snacks, and also a little piece of kitchenware. It's all delivered straight to your door once a month. They personally curate and provide authentic Japanese sweets, snacks, teas, and more from local makers in Japan each and every month. And by doing so, they're also supporting those hardworking local Japanese snack makers. And if you're afraid of not knowing what's inside the box, don't worry. There's this really handy booklet inside that explains in detail every single snack included in your box. This is the second time that I've received the Sacrico box now, and I've loved both a lot. My favorite from this month was this little salt and sweet, kind of tasted like a salt and vinegar chip, but it was like plum flavored. The tea was also very good. So there's a little something in here for everyone in the family, or if you want to gift it to a friend or whatever, you can or just keep it all for yourself. So if you want to try these delightful snacks, click the link below and use code BEATEMUPS to get $5 off your first box. All right, Pokemon Presents on Pokemon Day. The start of it was rough. And I love you, Pokemon Company. Thank you so much for the gifts. But as we've talked about, I'm very honest. And I give my honest thoughts and you can send me all the gifts you want. I'm still going to give honest thoughts. And the start was brutal. I do want to say that this like CGI animated Pikachu behind him is very cute. And I, it makes me wish Pokemon were actually real. Uh, immediately, it starts very slow. We have a Pokemon Go update. And from there, it was just more and more mobile, which was rough as someone that doesn't really play. Although apparently my chat was blowing up when Pokemon Masters EX announced you could get 5,000 free gems and then 3,000 more free gems just for playing today, um, which is apparently a lot of gems. And then they spent a while talking about Pokemon Cafe Remix, another mobile game. I mean, it is also on Switch, but it's a bunch of new Pokemon coming to that game. And I got to be honest, I'm going to breeze right past that. And at that point, I thought, well, that's the mobile games out of the way. But then no, because then we go into Pokemon Unite. Don't worry, we're getting somewhere really cool. <laughs> then they go to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And you know, I'm, I'm not really looking for an update for that game, but they've added Shaman to the game. Sh Sh Shaman is in, is in that game. That's the big update for Diamond and Pearl. So now that we have all of that out of the way, and oh boy, does it actually begin eight minutes in. We start with Pokemon Legends Arceus getting a free update today, the Daybreak update. It is free and it's today. So I mean, both of those things are a win. It looks like it's a little bit of a story update, teeny tiny. There's some new outbreaks happening around the world and it looks like alpha outbreaks, which is cool. Yeah, it's a free update. I mean, the game just came out. I really wasn't expecting DLC. I mean, I was hoping for it. I didn't think they would have any huge announcements like that. I was wrong because there's arguably an even bigger announcement around the corner, but out today, I'll probably stream it later tonight on Twitch and dive in and see what it's all about. I don't expect it to be too huge, 
But it is the first of hopefully many DLC updates to come for Arceus, because I love that game. Oh, they're also giving like 30 balls. 30, 30, 30 balls. They're giving a lot of balls, which is good because I'm out of balls. I have no balls. Now here, I was really worried that that was it. I was really worried. Then he said one more thing. And I was like, oh, what could this one more thing be? And then he said that there's a new Pokemon anime coming. <laughs> and we have one still picture of it. And I was like, please don't. Every, like, every, every new thing they got to, I was like, please don't end here. Please don't end here. And they didn't end here. But I am excited for this. It seems like it's, it's an original story of some kind. It's not in the, Poke the current Pokemon franchise and series with Ash and all that. It's its own thing set in this new Legends Arceus world in the Hisui region. So I'm very curious about that. But here's where it all begins. Here, screw everything else so far. Forget everything you've just seen. This is where the event really begins, 10 minutes in. They pull a massive fake out. Like, we're talking Smash character reveal levels of you think one thing is happening, but another thing is actually happening. It looks like, and I wasn't convinced it was, but it looks like something Detective Pikachu is going on here, right? Like a Detective Pikachu sequel, something like that. And I'm pretty sure this is the Detective Pikachu set where he first meets Ryan Reynolds, right? And so you're really thinking some... I gotta put my headset on because I'm getting chills again. Whoa, wait, whoa. What is happening? And then you're just thrusted into a video game. What a weird way of revealing the brand new Gen 9 Pokemon game. What is going on? But it gets even crazier. All right, so we're seeing these sprawling landscapes, these biomes. It looks like either the wild areas are back or this game is kind of set more in like a giant open world. Maybe there isn't so much wild area and normal Pokemon. Maybe that's like all kind of open, but it's very clear to see that it's it's the same visuals or similar visuals from Sword and Shield. So they've gone back to that. And a huge question I had was, are they going to continue the main series Pokemon games alongside something like Legends Arceus? Are they gonna split paths? Are they gonna continue with the Arceus style? But this shows that they're still doing these traditional games, at least for this one more gen. It answers that question, but it also, there's more to it and we'll get there. Cause it cuts back to the de 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 Detective Pikachu. And I'm honestly, I'm still here waiting to see Ryan Reynolds. I'm so confused. Pokemon I have ever seen. Grass Cat. What is that? What's its name? It's so cute. It's already my favorite. Dude, I can't tell you how excited I am for this alone because I'm very old school Pokemon, right? It's first gen or nothing for me. Ever since first gen, I've had a really hard time connecting with any starting Pokemon, including Gen 8, including all the gens. I've always kind of not liked the designs. There's never been one that I'm like, that's the one. I always feel like I'm just picking between three okay Pokemon. Like I've never, I've never felt like an obvious, that's the one. That is the one. That is so cute. And I feel bad because look at this fire crocodile. He's so cute as well. His face kind of looks like an apple, but he's so adorable. He's, if the cat wasn't there, he would be my favorite. That's like two really strong starting designs. I love that. If this is an indication of what this generation of Pokemon art is going to be and what they're going to look like, uh, we're in for a treat is all I'm saying. And then let's not forget Duck Boy. I mean, he's very proud. He kind of looks like he's wearing a toupee. I mean, to be to be honest, he's just kind of a duck. Psyduck's the original duck. I mean, I don't need I don't need 
I don't need another duck, but... The official titles are revealed. As if everything else wasn't enough. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Even the names, my guy. Even the names are hype. It's gone back to colors. You know, no offense to Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I, I, we've gotten used to saying that and hearing that. But it was always weirdly jarring for me when they Sword and Shield on the anniversary of Red and Blue to get Violet and Scarlet. That's kind of sick. In late 20... This year? Whoa. What? L releasing this year? And then what? And then what? And then what? Releasing in late 2022. This year? We're gonna have Gen 9. Two more Pokemon games. Releasing later this year in time for Christmas? When we already had Arceus in January? What is this? What is this year for the Switch? Like, I... This was so unexpected. For so many reasons. This is going to be... This is... We're in the middle of the Switch's best year it will ever have in its lifespan. Hands down, no questions asked. I'm gonna make a video about it, so I'm not gonna talk about this for too much right now. Since 2017, which was an insane year, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and a ton of other stuff, we've had some really strong years. The Switch has been, it's been really healthy, really great. But think about this year. We started with a brand new Pokemon game. We have Splatoon 3, we have Bayonetta 3, we have Breath of the Wild 2, we have a new Kirby, we have Xenoblade 3 coming out now. There's like, everything is coming, like everything is getting a new game and new Pokemon games at the end of the year. This is an insane year for the Switch. I don't, I don't, like my qu my question of, are they gonna keep doing Arceus games or these traditional games? I don't even know if that's been answered here because clearly they've been working on this alongside Arceus because if it's coming out this year, it's not like they started it once Arceus was done. They've definitely been working on both of these games alongside each other. So, I mean, with the insane success of Arceus that it had, so if they're starting, and I'm having this thought now. I'm piecing these puzzles together. If they're starting a Hasui region or, you know, that style of anime, there's a realm of possibility they could keep making these Legends Arceus type games. And then when they release a new game, the anime is then in that region and it's set in that world. And you kind of have these two animes, these two cartoons going alongside these two video games. I mean, I'm down for that. I mean, I think that's very well possible and in the realm of what the pokemon franchise could do with all its money because like i go th i go over this all the time but this is the world's largest franchise <laughs> i say that way too much most of this event was mobile games there is room game freak to have another main series of pokemon game that's not a mobile game and be very successful with it and i think arceus is the window there and this new anime to go alongside it start those start something new that's big it's not a mobile game in the pokemon world i can't believe we're getting two big releases this year i can't believe it's another release in the insane lineup of switch games i know we didn't get anything on pokemon home and pokemon sleep is still sleeping somewhere that we don't know about as far as a pokemon event goes what else could they have done so i i mean i'm glad i woke up early i'm obviously very excited and very hyped um, thank you, Pokemon Company, for the big box of gifts. Uh, and thank you all for watching the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Pokemon event and how excited you are for this year on Switch. Also, a big shout out and thank you for all the love on my video yesterday. I appreciate all the kind words. And uh, if you could, subscribe to my highlight channel and my second channel because videos are coming there. If you love YouTube content, I have a ton more on the way. And of course, my Twitch. All right, I need to edit this. Good job, Pokemon. Good job.